Nico Carrillo. And please welcome to the red corner from Southampton, Mighty Mo Octonomon. Well, here we go for the main event of this evening. We have Nico Carrillo versus Mo Abdurrahman. Matched at 63.5 kilos, A class, five three minute rounds. going to be a real question of who can implement their game plan here. Two very talented lads. Mo just has some really difficult movement to deal with. But Nico is on a good streak at the moment. I've been hearing some very good things about him in the training camp for this fight. Mo's movement side to side, as you said, very unpredictable. Yeah. Very difficult to gauge where he's going. Hits you from strange angles. He's got a great awareness. Good block from Mo. Chopping on those legs to Mo slow Nico down. Back left leg. He's really coming in with the inside low kicks. Good shot. Oh, nice lean back from Mo and counter. Nico not able to get through with as much at the moment. That chopping away at the leg seems to take him off his kicking. You can see, see a, a reddening a and a yeah. welt already on the inside of that lead leg. He is hitting that leg with some power. And it's the continual shots, bosh, 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 in the same place. And then teep there, teep there. Good kick from Nico there. Well timed teep and shot to the body. Lovely inside leg kicks from Mo. Yeah, he's chopping inside and outside. Some welts on the inside and the outside of that lead leg of Nico. Look at that movement. Mo just looks so relaxed when he moves like that. It's beautiful to watch. And he is holding the dominance of the ring right now. Holding that center. Again, chopping away at these legs. Nico saying, yeah, come on. But Mo is doing it. Oof, good shot landing there from Nico. As he goes into clinch, but Mo says, no thanks. Pushes him off, smiles. Nico hunting him down now. Good kick. He's got a lightning fast kick, Ooh, Nico. Lovely right hand. Good kick again from Nico. Lovely opener. Lo Here we go, round two. Scheduled five round fight. This is match to 63.5 kilos to contest the ISKA Intercontinental title. The body shots there from Mo. Lovely work as we see what each has in store in the clinch. Nice turn and knee there from Mo. Showing some tremendous strength in that clinch, both fighters. Mo's work rate is just, just takes you off your game a little bit. And I feel like Mo is dictating the pace of the fight here. Nico not kicking as much oh. as he usually does. He nearly gets his head taken off his shoulders. Nice low kick from Nico. Good shots to the body. See more yeah. banging in them body shots. Yeah, and then that step to the right moves off to the side. Good kick from Nico, but 
Mo hunting his man down. Nico's waiting too much for me. Yeah, he's heavily on the back foot, isn't he? I think, to be fair, like his lead leg is hurting now. You can see starting oh, to stiffen really up and hit jam that up. Leg up at the start, didn't he? He's really attacked there. Look, we all go. he's been doing the entire two rounds, the inside of that lead leg is red raw already. Look at that again. Every time he finishes on that inside leg kick, chopping away at the leg. Oh, spinning elbow there though. Narrowly missing. Mo's work rate is just tough to deal with. Look at that. Chop, 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 chop. Oh! Head kick there from Nico. I also, also like how Mo's constantly switching the stance, constantly making it hard. Now he's starting to kick more, Nico. That's what we want to see. That, see that shot when Mo throws the hands and he ducks off to the side as he throws the low kick so he can be right in the pocket and still miss. Big oh. right hand over the top from Mo. There's a lot of reddening on the face of Nico there. If you watch how Mo's moving, he's slowly trying to pick off. Thing is, this is a five round Muay Thai fight. Nico is not used to the pace, I think, of Mo and the pressure. He just sits right on you, popping away at you the whole time. And hits you from everywhere. Yeah, well. upstairs, downstairs, angles. He pops those little body shots in. Look here, leg, 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 chops that leg again. into round three of this scheduled five round fight. And again, high impact, high pace to start off the round again from Mo. So Nico is a lovely kicker, but oof, good shot. Uh, Nico's a lovely kicker, but Mo's pressure and chopping away at that leg inside and outside for the entire three rounds so far. Look at it again. This is the game plan. He's Slow Nico much. down, hurt him. Can't kick you if you can't stand on that leg. Exactly. Look at this, look, and knee into the leg. Well. Wow. He's hurting that leg. Lovely technique. Look, teep, teep, teep. He's look, not giving again, it a break. Again, chop the leg at the end, watch. There it is. Nico doesn't know what to do. He's a little bit lost at the pace. I don't know if it's maybe that he's used to fighting the more traditional Thai style five rounds and wouldn't be picking up at this stage, but he's not dealt with those leg kicks the entire fight and this is gonna Look, he's stiffening up already and changing that stance. Leg, that left leg has gone to the back yeah. now. He's not going to make it to the end of this fight. That leg's going to go. I see how Mo see steps in and knees it. Yeah. No, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see how he's picking away at the leg. And then when he sees that Nick is focusing on the leg, he then comes up to the body, then up to the face. He just works his way up like he's climbing a ladder. That's it. And it's smart, intelligent fighting. It's not all about brawn in here. Nice knee from Nico. And it's that pace. He's not coming off that cruise control. It's just constant, constant, constant. Mo can do this for five rounds too. Look, knee oh, to the leg no. there. Horrible man. <laughs> oh, a spin and back kick to the leg. But you see, he's still picking away with the... Oh! oh. Sorry, off slip. balance. I think off it was balance. a slip. Yeah. Off balance, he's still working. That got people excited, but I think it was more enough balance. Yeah, Mo is still keeping the pace. Yeah, he says, I won't clinch. But look, you can see Nico is changing stance, so he doesn't get that leg chop. But Mo's timing's great. Look, he waits, hits it at the end. Watch this. Works the head, works the body. Waits till you put that leg down. Knee Ooh, the leg there, look. Bang. Straight in again, knee, knee. Inside knee, outside knee. Again, not massive scores, but he's really doing damage. And it's really messing up Nico's style. Nico is slowed down dramatically because of this damage to the leg. And as I said, Mo can do this for five rounds. Gas tank. Yeah. Oh, lovely elbow. Again, teeps to the leg, teeps to the leg. Inside leg kick. That leg is so stiff. Nico is not standing on it well. Don't see it getting five rounds. The middle, 
way before they even say seconds out. He's there, ready to fight. Chopping the leg again. That game plan the entire time has worked really well. Nico trying to block now because he needs he's not going to be standing in a minute. Chopping the inside leg kick with the foot there, but not really doing the same level of damage. Oh, Good hands. Right hook on that. This is what Nico needs to change it up. He needs to do something different. The odd single shot is not going to work. If you notice that he's just continuously hitting at the same power, he's not going too much harder. Every low kick is the same. Nico's leg is swollen and red raw and stiff. But he's still dangerous. Oh. Big hands! Oh my God! Oh my God! Nico has landed a solid elbow, and is this going to be the end of the fight? What is happening? Mo's eyes are glazed. Is he going to be okay? Nico needs to get on him. Oh my God, what a turn! Oh my what God. a turn! Oh, here's a heavy right hand from Nico. He can smell blood. He steps in. Oh, and he takes a shot of his own. Oh, oh he's doing it! He's doing it! And it is Mo finished? Mo is finished! What a finish! Oh my god! Oh my god! What a turnaround! After a superb contest, and after one minute and 26 seconds completed of the fourth round, your referee, Chris Batchelor, jumps in to stop the contest, deeming Mo Abdurman in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO. And the new minus 63 and a half kilogram ISKA Intercontinental Champion, Nico Carrillo! And ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for a very brave warrior indeed, mighty Mo Abdurrahman.